Hey, hi guys, welcome back. So yesterday, they Ipsy sent me their April unboxing, and it's still March. It's the last. Wait, is today's the twenty eighth? I think I believe they always send your Ipsy boxes early, which I love about Ipsy. They don't wait until the first day of the month. They wait like they send it out like a week prior. So it's pretty cool, right? Okay. This is the theme. It looks cool. So it's welcome home. And this month is to come out of hibernation to embrace a dreamy new world filled with heavenly makeup planet positive phase because it's earth month earth day you know and vitamin power skincare to bring out your inner glow right because you're out more it's sunny it's a lot of butterflies out the flu the birds everything so this theme I just love spring, okay? My favorite season, you see the flowers, the animals, okay? So, this is Earth Month, yeah, like I said, so... Basically, opt for plant-based formulas, all right? Um, so, there's a few brands like Saturday Skin, Viral, I haven't heard of that brand. And to channel your inner Mother Earth, okay? <laughs> So I don't know what that means or how. And number three, recycle your empties and the right way. Because listen, if you want to recycle and it's not recyclable or it's not cleaned properly, it's contaminating the whole batch of recycled empties that you want to ship out to. And they're going to throw the whole thing away and it's going to be a waste for you and them. And like, no. So please make sure you clean prob properly and really investigate if the actual product you want to recycle, it is made for recycle because some plastics are not made for recycle. They usually have a symbol and a number sign and it tells you like which ones are for recycle, which ones are not. Some don't say, so you're like, ah, this looks like it, but I'm not sure. So it's best to throw out and not recycled it. Okay, so that's basically what they're trying to say. Yeah, to prevent it to be on landfill and, you know, help the environment. Because it's not that good. Okay, so this is obviously the prices. Okay, their socials. So yay, I'm so excited for this month. Let's see. Okay. Let's throw that out. Okay. First thing is the Ipsy Glam Bag and then the Boxy Chart. So, let me remove this box. Okay. okay. Ooh, the paper fell. Well, like always, I'm going to put the dates that are important that are listed here. So I don't take a while like showing you and explaining, but I'm still gonna open it in case I want to screenshot and read it. Cause I'm not gonna read it, okay? So that's pretty much it. So let me do a quick scan. So May I Come Box is gonna reveal for next month a Mega Drop Shops. Um, the build your box and add on okay so that's pretty much it and the, the products that are gonna be sold what's the back that's interesting okay so i don't see something specifically popping out so i guess i'll just insert it here okay next finally opening the products right okay so let's see Wow, they sent me a bunch of products I've been dying to try. Yay! Yay! Wow, okay. The first product is Koa Life. I've seen them on Instagram. I haven't tried their brand. It's a detox face mask and the clears complexion and detoxify. So it sounds like I need it because I have a black head here and I need to pop it because it looks like a brown black dot and it appears on my photos and 
it's not a pimple it's dark it's like a blackhead this is a pimple this not and it's been like weeks and it still hasn't gone away so definitely need a lot of detoxifying right now so this has no sulfates it's a pretty vegan cruelty free brand yes you can see this is the bag it has a bunch of interesting ingredients so this minimizes blemishes which i need and absorbs absorbs <laughs> dirt and oil so if you're oily you're gonna love this and it soothes and hydrates so this is pretty cool you just cleanse your face and then apply the mask and leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes and then you rinse and apply your hydrator of your choice and that's pretty much it so it looks pretty nice i can't so i don't know what their logo means it's a triangle and then like a circle it's interesting i don't know about them but this is their website and their instagram and in case you want to follow them okay so the packaging is very pretty look at the triangles it's so pretty so ooh, i love the gold and the pink wow okay so very pretty okay so let me smell it okay it comes with a safety seal <gasps> it's black or oh it smells very minty refreshy with vegetable-y <laughs> i don't know it's like a traditional clay mask it looks like that green yeah it smells clean i'm pretty sure it's gonna feel cooling on the skin which i love when masks do that because you feel like you're actually cleaning out your skin like that's what i love whenever i smell this these types of a product i think someone's out <laughs> okay so yeah i'm gonna want to try it out right away i need it okay so oh this is okay the next brand that i'm like so excited is buxom i've never tried this brand <laughs> i know and this is their plump shots sheer tint collagen infused lips are oh so this is pretty cool this sounds anti-aging because we have a lot of fine lines on our lips right so i'm guessing this is might i don't know like minimize your lines there i don't know we'll see but this is in the shade of dolly pink dolly babes Oop. so it looks like a pretty barbie pink very pretty it's cute um damn it has a bunch of ingredients that's scary to me there's a lot of ingredients <laughs> so i'm pretty sure you're gonna feel stinging and burning when because it's a lip plumper pretty much i'm guessing and i don't know it says it increased volume so yeah <laughs> and the men decrease lip lines what i assume and i don't know it says 94 percent of people said they saw a huge difference i don't know we'll see because usually lip plumpers they do work but they go away after what 5 10 15 minutes and then you have to reply and i don't think it's safe to reply every 20 minutes right that's also why i don't use lip plumpers that much so the packaging is very pretty it's fancy it's like a glass it's, it looks cool well um the shade i love the shade i would wear it it's kind of like this this is lighter oh. why am i salivating this weird <laughs> i think because i'm talking a lot okay so oh uk london this is a london brand i don't know but i think this brand is pricey right um, so i'm gonna swatch it and see how it smells 
Okay, and this I have a sin really with you see how pretty the shade and the one is pretty. I like that it's skinny. I don't like big because I have tiny lips. It's hard to apply with big applicators. But okay, so swatch. Oh, it feels moisturizing. A little cooling. It looks very pigmented and hydrating. You see, I don't feel tingling right now, but wow, you see, it looks like dewy, shiny, hydrating. Wow, it smells a little minty fresh, just a little, yeah, minty. I like it. Let me wait if this is gonna swell up. Imagine, <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna probably need to put it right here in my titties so I can grow. You know, I'm kidding. <laughs> that was so bad, but okay. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, I'm kidding. No. Yeah, I don't see any plumping. It's not stinging, so that's a good sign. Okay, so the next product is this i don't know how to say it i haven't seen this brand but it, it's a high definition gel eyeliner so oh it looks pretty cool so this is in the shade coffee bean oh it's a brown eyeliner shade um oh this comes with a built in angled brush so it's like a two-in-one product it's pretty cool Oh, supposedly pigmented. You smudge out the eyeliner with the brush. Like, this is pretty cool. Like the detail. Okay. okay. Yeah, you see, this is a brush and this is an eyeliner. It's very tiny angled brush. It's okay. So I've never seen this. Yeah, I've seen a brush with the makeup but not for eyeliner i don't think i don't know but this looks pretty cool i love when products do that it's so cool okay so Ooh. okay so the package the package <laughs> the packaging is black it's sleek and there's nothing going on decoration wise it's skinny it's pretty Okay, never mind. You see the line? That's the shade. Okay. So. Ooh, it's so tiny. Look at the brush. It's so tiny. Like, so tiny. Look. There. It feels very soft, though. Very soft. It's angle so yeah this is super super tiny so this you will mess up your eyeliner wing right here if you just want to do a small little line this is made for you or you have small hooded eyes yeah it's pretty cool so now the eyeliner side it looks like a very tiny it's so cute and little too and it's like a gel eyeliner yeah it's not a pencil it looks soft like a crayon type of you see very tiny and then it's like a dark brown so let's see oh it's super smooth and creamy and buttery and rich like with one tiny swipe this you don't need a lot of layering to do it's there the visibly okay so what i always like to do when i box is to see how much product it has inside because we don't want to buy something expensive and not have a lot of product so as you can see I'm going and going and going and going and there's still product so that's a good sign so that's all the product it has in case you want to 
purchase it okay so now i'm gonna twist it back in okay yeah and i like that it's not breaking usually brands feel like flimsy this one i thought because it was very tiny and skinny skinny it was gonna like break easily but no it's like me i'm very skinny and little but i don't break easily oh my gosh you can throw me up in the air and I won't bring. <laughs> it's literally me, this eyeliner. This is me, <laughs> but a makeup version. Okay, so except the color should be like super bright, <laughs> not brown. But yeah, I'm excited for this one. Wow, <gasps> this is super cool. Okay, so the next brand i've been dying to try well okay so this is um in beauty project i think yeah and it's a skincare product okay so this is pretty cool this is their website their ingredients all of that and what is it is this a mask Oh no, it's a serum. It's slushy. <laughs> That's a cute name. I get hyaluronic acid and bakuchiu. <laughs> that is it. Serum. So this hydrates deeply into your skin and improves texture. And yeah, this pretty much is what it's the ingredients. So it looks pretty promising right and the packaging is super cute and girly <laughs> even the inside like what yeah this looks cute okay so oh it's white it looks like milk <gasps> it looks so creamy what it's like a pump applicator and wow okay so you see clear and you pump and the pump pump it up <laughs> reminded me of that song okay so this oh it's because this is like a hybrid skincare product is serum and also really like moisturizer yeah cause this plumps your dry skin if you have dry skin it gives you glow and refines the texture so you basically apply two to three pumps and after you do your toner if you use toner and you have to use this twice a day so in the morning and at night so yeah that's pretty much it so what is pretty cool about this is that they they're having a sustainability pledge so what it means is they have a partnership with repurpose global okay so for every unit sold two plastic units will be pulled out of landfills literally so water waves and marine environments and to be recycled and repurposed so that's pretty cool that brands do that so this is a a pretty sustainable brand okay so uh, what i'm reading is here is what they mentioned this is all i read so i didn't know that about this brand like i always scroll and see their stuff but never knew that was the type of brand they were i don't know so i'm gonna swatch okay you see it's like a white creamy Oh, it feels very cooling and cold and hydrating. When you see it, it is very glowy. It's, it doesn't... I smell it and there's no scent, so that's pretty cool too. It looks a little shiny, not really. Okay, I, it already blended in, so it doesn't look super, super dewy or anything so yay okay so yay the last thing i need to hurry up is <gasps> yay looney <ooh>, looney <laughs> lunar beauty is the youtuber manny mua 
he does makeup obviously he came out with a makeup line uh, i used to watch him when he first started like in 2016 17 so yeah i would like to watch his videos his makeup tutorials and he was funny and he's mexican latino and but a man and i was like oh i think he was like the first guys that i've seen play with makeup oh no patrick star before and well yeah they were around the same time so yeah i was like wow that's pretty cool that he came out with a brand and no i haven't tried his makeup line before like i said it's pricey for me i just purchased drugstores so that's why also but his theme is pretty much moon like witchy like that aesthetic so that's why lunar beauty like sailor moon kind of like that okay so this is pretty much a cheek palette oh i was i thought it was an eyeshadow palette i was so excited but it's so pretty cool so this is the moon prism blush i don't know if it's newly launched or it's been there i haven't keep up with his products probably is as new right i don't know so i don't want to rip up off the box <gasps> so yay so, so good yeah i'm gonna have to rip it because it's breaking my nail that i don't have it. yeah see this is his youtube channel in case you wanna subscribe <laughs> this is channel no <sighs> I'm gonna have to rip it. Okay. Not the paper cuts. Okay, I don't have patience and I'm twenty-four minutes in even me ripping it is not letting me open. Me, I don't know how to open boxes. <laughs> wow! <laughs> yeah, it's like a 3D moon. You can feel it. <gasps> wow! <laughs> okay. <gasps> it feels so cool. This is the back. Wow. Okay. <gasps> wow! <laughs> it has a huge mirror and a bunch of shades. <gasps> wow so pink moon like a pinky and like a peachy twilight this is spacey like a mauve -y. okay this one's more shimmery it's like a a mixture this one the peachy with shimmer like a mixture with the oh no like this one but this one's not shimmery okay and then this one looks more for bronzer i think this one's bronzer yeah so the wrists are more blush and the bronzer so uh, this looks pretty it looks more for fair light skin tones very very pretty <gasps> wow that's it for the boxy charm so now i'm gonna hurry up and unbox my ipsy glam bag so this one let's see <gasps> wow okay wait see my it's gospel it's like it's so cute it's like a little a melon it's a fruit i don't know it's so squishy and soft and yellow with the blue stripes it was kawaii with that aesthetic Ooh, and the, the orangey wow i love this purse it's gonna be one of my favorites out of ipsy bags okay so hey ooh, a mini 
Chica Beauty Fiesta, Fiesta Mini Eyeshadow Palette. So right off the bat, it looks very Mexican. It looks like a Mexican owned brand because of the papel picado. How do you say that in English? I don't know, but these are decorations that you hang like on top of the ceiling, on the room, and um, in the whatever party you see and then it has her logo inside it's usually very rainbow and colorful but she chose white for her aesthetic so very girly and white so this looks like a very cool cruelty free mexican owned brand so wow i've never heard of her brands I've never seen it. It's probably an indie small brand. So, wow! Even her package, the palette is very fun and girly, and it's cute and sleek. Wow! These shades are for me. The greens, the browns. Um, these look good on my skin tone and eye color. I have brown hazel these shades look very pretty on me i think i don't know this is yeah the purples look. <gasps> look so one two three four shimmers and then four mattes so these are perfect for every day and for a pop of color so i'm pretty sure I just want to use all the bottom three, the greens and the purples. Wow. Mm. Right? So pretty. So let me swatch a little. Okay. This is the lightest shade. It looks pigmented. Okay. It blends into my skin tone. Let me swatch the green one. Oop, I did it ugly. <laughs> but a light swatch and it showed up. Let me do another. It is pigmented, but you need a little bit more building up to do. But it's pigmented. You see? I love the shade. It's so pretty. <gasps> well, so... This one, you can barely see whenever I swatch it, but I'm also very white. But it, okay, so this shimmery one, let's see. Wow, it's very shimmery. It's black with sparkles. That was when one little light swatch i like to do a one little to see if it's really pigmented and it is look <gasps> and it looks iridescent and sparkly so okay right off the bat i love her brand her pigment on her shadows are pigmented okay yes she's ripping us hard oh she's from san antonio that's pretty cool <gasps> Oh, she's like three hours away from Houston, so it's pretty. I want to live here. <laughs> I want to change the the scenery. It looks over there. Looks fun. It's very like fiesta, like that. Very Mexican. Very fun. And I don't know. And then here the food is really good, better than here. I don't know. Okay, so the next thing is what is this oh i haven't heard of this brand it's scone scone lux lip liner so yeah i've never seen this brand so let me remove the plastic first they send me a nudie shade lip, or a brownish yeah the shade cosmo it looks like a pretty shade for every day okay see Ooh, okay let me swatch Ooh. 
it's pigmented it's like a brownie brownie <laughs> notice okay these you can use all of these in a makeup look they all match well wow, they're so pretty okay i'm excited for this month <gasps> wow okay this looks promising i don't know i'm gonna need to research this brand because i haven't seen this one at all okay so i need to hurry up Ooh, i saw something pink okay what is oh tart big eagle mascara they sent me their tartlet mini one on november of last year i barely used it that's why i remember but wow i didn't know they had a super bright pink cute one let me see the wand this one oh this one's big and <laughs> that's why it's called big eagle it's very fluffy and thick and it looks like big and then it swoops and then i don't know it looks very cool but it's scary i don't have lashes and look it's bigger than my eye <laughs> wow this looks fun to use so right okay so the next thing is Neogen Dermatology. I don't know. It's a skincare brand and it's oh, an eye cream. Okay. It's, I never seen this brand. It's pretty cool. Okay. Let's see. Comes with a safety seal. It's, okay. It's just white doesn't really have it oh it smells a little bit like baby wipes like that scent it doesn't smell bad but that kind of scent with with not a scent i don't know like yeah a little f lemony i guess fresh but neutral okay it feels soft a little cooling refreshing okay so essential so yeah it's just it's just so oh this helps hydrate and remove the saggy wrinkle area under your eyes so if you're wanting an anti-aging eye cream this is gonna be the one for you so i don't have saggy wrinkles yet <laughs> But I'm still gonna use it. Okay, so the last thing. Oh, looks like a makeup remover. This is from Biro, New York. I don't know what brand this is, but it's like a pretty purpley, pinky <gasps> wash. Wow, it's so pretty. So this is Pro Berry Pore Refining Toner. Oh, it's just a toner. Okay so after cleansing your face you apply a few drops of these and then with a cotton pad around and then even on your neck and you have to apply it morning and night so you can use this every day so let's smell it it's oh it doesn't smell like anything but yeah Oh, all right oh it smells like a perfume girly <laughs> why did i sound like that <laughs> i have too much spit that's why okay <laughs> it smells very good clean but perfumey girly i get a little bit like i don't know like probably girls like the popular girls would wear this perfume scent <laughs> like the like the baddies, that type of scent it smells very good. It, I want to perfume this scent. It smells good. So, if you don't like scented toners, skincare, you're not gonna like it. But it smells so good, but I'm scared. I'm scared. But I just wish they had a perfume this scent. I feel like there is, but I don't know which brand does it. Oh, this is made in korea so i'm guessing it's a k-beauty brand that's why i haven't seen it oh wow so 
is cruelty free and be okay so that's pretty much it uh, i hope you enjoyed my ipsy boxy charm unboxing of this month of april there's like a bunch okay so oh yeah i forgot to show you this card from the ipsy it was basically the same thing so i'm most excited for this mini palette and the toner that's pretty interesting Oh yeah, the mascara one is pretty interesting. Obviously, the Lunar Beauty and the eyeliner dual brush and what else? The box, this lip plumper. Yeah, this I mean, There's pretty cool, interesting products. They didn't send a lot, but pretty cool ones though. That I'm like, wow, I need a one. Like, I need a trade, so. So excited thank you so much ipsy for gifting me this like always every month i get excited to do an unboxing i'm just gonna end it here so bye have a nice april month.